Adam Diaz 213. I'm going to conduct an experiment using a green light light bulb. Easily found. UL certified in the US. Contains mercury. And if you don't know, mercury has a lot of magnetic properties. It's highly affected by magnetics. So I'm going to show you a Tesla field kind of wireless transfer of power just by a ch an exchange of, or should I say a change of etheric pressures or ether pressures. And ether is just space or, or air all around us. It's just tiny molecules charged up, just waiting to be charged. And what we're going to do is I'm going to send power, basically what you would think is static discharge, because for a reaction there's an equal and opposite reaction. And magnetism and electricity work hand in hand as nature's little seesaw equal and opposite reaction. I'm going to show it to you right now. So we're going to get started. What I'm going to be doing is taking these basketball shorts, which are 100% polyester. And you can see they have a lot of holes in them. So it's going to make it easy for the thin air molecules to pass through as and then as a whole, it's going to push air around it as a whole. But the thin molecules are going to separate easier and go back together using their magnetic bonds because or you would call it ionic, but that's going to change soon. So we're going to go and show you how to charge something or give, you know, provide wireless power without any mechanics or working components other than this light bulb full of mercury, which is pressurized. And we're going to illuminate the mercury the same way, you know, the opposite way an electromagnet works. An electromagnet, by sending electricity through it, doesn't actually charge up the magnet so to speak what it does is it i'm just going to go ahead and show you electricity is magnetism and dielectricity working together and we're going to go ahead and just get started and i'll explain it before i get too complicated okay here. go ahead and take the camera aaron i'm going to go ahead and hold this okay what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to spin this up we're going to create a charge by spinning it and me and my brother witnessed once a tornado in broad daylight with no clouds and it ripped off 70 pound boards off my building sent them flying 30 40 feet very dangerous and sent debris in the air hundreds and hundreds of feet and I realized then that tornadoes are not air pressure that the air pressure does cause this right here it causes a cyclone it causes the ether to spin and it creates a charge and that charge creates a fall of, of pressures of different molecules to spin down and when it falls it's like a teardrop and, it, and it's just a, a counter reaction you see it with like your tub the Coriolis effect isn't real you can change that with just a simple current just the way your tubs built or the way it's draining in the direction so let's show you so we've got the I'm going to charge it up you can see it's already working now that it's charged but when it unfolds Now all I have to do is simply vibrate it again and I can hold it wound up and simply not seeing it. move it closer and closer. Are you not seeing this at all? Mm -hmm. It's a different type of light. What do you mean it's a different type of light? How come I can't see that light on my camera? I'm not sure. Can you see these up here? You see, I'm lighting up these 